people are so stylish. Like they just know how to rock all those cool outfits. And then there's me. Let's take a closer look. When they take photos for Instagram, When I take photos for Instagram, when they go on a date, when I go on a date, when they go work out, when I go work out, when they go out to party, I go out to party. Never mind, I never go out to party. As you can see, I have a problem. If you watch my videos or follow my Instagram, you know that hoodies and sweatshirts are all I wear. Come with me, I'll show you. This is my temporary wardrobe for the time until I get a new closet. But it doesn't even matter. Because all we can see here are hoodies and sweatshirts. Piles and piles of same old clothes. <sighs> and I'm not talking about those trendy Ariana style long sweatshirts paired with thigh high boots that look really good. I always go for the most childish sweatshirts in store. You don't believe it? Check out my favorite pieces from my closet. Street, street. now I literally dress like five-year-old kids lie okay I know even most five-year-olds have a way better style than me but it wouldn't even be a problem if I would dress like this occasionally because honestly I really like this clothes the problem is that this is all I wear and I'll talk to you soon filming bye going to town cleaning Grocery shopping. Going to the cinema. Sunday road trip. I live in this children's sweatshirt. I also never go to events, red carpets, and these fancy occasions like other YouTubers because I live far away from all that stuff. So I'm never forced to dress into something a bit more serious. Consequently, I've just become more and more lazy with my style. And all I really want is comfort. Yep. But this love for comfort has gone way too far. Psst. Can I tell you a secret? Promise it will stay between you and me. Okay. So the entire winter, when it was a bit cold outside, I've been wearing this shirt to go out, shopping, to town, the cinema, and everywhere really. And guess what? These are all pajamas. <laughs> yes. I am the worst. All I ever buy, wear, or anything are hoodies, sweatshirts, and pajamas. This is literally me. I mean, what is next? Will I just wake up and go out like this? <sighs> you know what? This has to stop. It's time to grow up and completely change my style. For real. Yes! Today and going forward, I want to challenge myself to experiment with fashion, try out new things, and dress a little bit more grown up. Guys, let's go shopping. Guys, I got quite a few things, but I'm gonna show you everything in the morning. Good night. Just close your eyes.
Good morning, guys. It is the next day. And I'm so excited to show you everything that I picked up and try it on. Hopefully together we can determine whether this new style of mine is any good. Or I should just give up and accept that children's clothes is all I'm ever gonna wear. First up, I got two skirts. But I got the skirt style that I've never tried before in my life. Midi skirt. See, I love seeing midi skirts on other people. But for some reason, if I imagine myself in a midi skirt, this is what I see. Not a cool look. Anyway, this is how my first midi skirt looks like. It's yellow with small black polka dots. I love how nicely it is fitted in the waist and what I love even more is the slit at the side. This kind of helps making it look more youthful and less grannyish, I think. The second midi skirt that I got is this denim one with buttons all along the front. The material is so nice, light and flowy. And since it is denim, I feel like it won't be very difficult to style. Wearing this is definitely out of my comfort zone, but hopefully after I wear it a few times out and about, I will get used to it. Next cap. Category. Pants. I only wear sweatpants Tights. and jeans. So I wanted to branch out and explore some other pants possibilities. I chose these red skinny pants that are very comfy and soft, but a bit more special compared to my usual jeans or tights. I also like how they are a little bit cropped, plus this color is so bright and fun, which is right up my street. Okay, the next two pairs of pants were a bit more risky purchase because I still don't know how I feel about them. They are these culottes trousers. I've seen a lot of people rocking these, and they look very cool on other people. For me, on the other hand, I feel like this could really go either way. I really may just end up looking like a clown. Or I may be able to pull it off, which I'm kind of skeptical about. I picked two colors, red and yellow. And it's a bit ironic that I actually got them in a kids section of a store. <laughs> but hey, they don't look childish, right? <laughs> which is just another proof that kids these days dress way more sophisticated than me. Let's continue with dresses. Okay, I do own two or three dresses, but the thing is that I never ever wear them. For example, this beautiful dress I only wore in my morning routine video years ago and then never ever again. Why? So this summer I will wear dresses. This one and a bunch of others that I just got. Promise. How cute is this blue dress with a ton of little pineapples all over? So adorable. I honestly don't even know what my issue is with dresses and why I don't wear them. Because they are super comfortable, perfect for hot summer days and just so easy to throw on. Just grab a dress like this and you're good to go. Another gorgeous one that I chose is this super flowy red one. The colors look pretty autumnal but I like the combination and even more so I like the cut and how lightweight it is. I'm gonna be so mad at myself if I don't end up wearing this one because it's seriously beautiful. Next we have a cute dark blue mini dress with off shoulder sleeve. This one is a bit more tight at the top but the bottom is super flowy. Off shoulder tops can sometimes be a bit uncomfortable for me because they slide up every time you lift your arms but this one actually feels quite nice. Let's continue with this pretty yellow number. This is such a girly girl dress which obviously isn't something I usually go for but this shopping trip was all about stepping out of the comfort zone so I decided to to give it a go. The color is beautiful, it's very comfortable, not too short, so why not? The last dress that I picked up is this emerald one and I feel like it's the most elegant looking of all. It was also a bit more expensive than others but luckily I got it on sale so yay for that. There are little holes all over the dress through which you can see the silver fabric underneath. Also by the way you may have noticed that I'm wearing sneakers throughout this entire try on. Well it's because sneakers are all I wear. I do have two pairs of heels but literally can't walk in them and also don't want to walk in them. They are way too painful for my comfort loving self. How other women can wear super high heels for hours is beyond my understanding. Props to them. Time to discuss tops. Just as with my sweatshirt, I always tend to gravitate towards the most childish tops that I can find in store. For example, and if for some reason I don't end up picking the tea with some children character on top, I usually go for brightest in your face type Blue shirts and like red this. And yellow, which one will it I mean, why do I have to dress like a walking rainbow? <sighs> anyway, I decided to try something a bit more muted and toned down, so I picked up the following top. I almost never wear black clothes, so I decided to change that and picked up this black crop. Top. I like the wavy detail on the top and bottom, plus the fact that you can tie the straps into a bow. It is cropped, so still very youthful, but at the same time much more grown up looking than the other tops I own. I love it so much that I had to pick it up in pink as Here's well. Here's another crop top in white, and what I love about this one are the 
cute ruffly strap. This is something that I normally wouldn't pick up because it looks too plain, but actually I do like it and I think I'm gonna wear it a lot. Okay, this little shirt isn't super grown up looking, but at least it doesn't have any giant children character printed all over. So shh, it's a simple white tee with a bunch of small cherries. I thought it was very adorable and easy to wear. Now let's talk about shorts. Okay, I admit here, I bought two pairs of high-waisted denim shorts. Guilty. But I did it only because I was looking for a perfect pair of high-waisted denim shorts for literally three years. And I just never found one that I really love. Let me show you what I mean. In these three years, I acquired quite a few pairs of denim shorts. But there is always something wrong with them. A. They are not high-waisted enough. We have a few examples of those. B. The fit is just off. And C. They are super high-waisted, but also so very skinny, short, and basically not what I want. So now that I went shopping for only grown-up, sophisticated clothes, I happened to find two perfect pairs of denim shorts. And I just couldn't let them there. This is the kind of high-waisted jean shorts that I've always wanted. They're really fitted at the waist, but then they're quite roomy and comfortable going down. I love the retro look, the light wash, and sorry, but I couldn't say no to this precious find. The other pair is a bit more special and has a fun balloon shape, which I weirdly love very much. These are extra high-waisted and have some additional fabric on top, but I just love how quirky and different they look. I know this is not a smart, grown-up looking piece, but I had to grab it. To make up for my two naughty shorts purchases, I also picked this one, which is a bit more polished and elegant. These are pretty cute yellow with some blue stripes and nice ruffles at the bottom. This would actually look pretty cool with a blazer, but that's way too much for me for one day. <laughs> Going from children hoodies to blazers is a bit of a big jump. Maybe next time we'll go there. I also got this floral pinky pair of shorts. The material is similar to those culotte pants, and I also got this on the kids section. But they don't look too kids-like, do they? Well, maybe a little bit, but that's okay, right? Finally, I bought a new swimsuit. I haven't bought any new swimsuit for myself in years. And the only one that I've been wearing is this pink, super girly and roughly one. So I just wanted something a bit more plain, classic and grown up -ish. So I went for this dark blue one piece that simply says ciao at the front. And this completes my fun fashion experiment. I'll do my best to incorporate all these pieces in my everyday life and move away from my lazy, comfy fashion choices. Of course I will still wear my sweatshirts and hoodies because I just love them too much, but I will try hard to switch it up with something more grown up here and there. How about you? What clothes do you prefer? Comfy or a bit more put together? Tell me in the comments below! Thank you for watching! I love you so so much! And we'll speak soon! Mwah. Bye!